For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show how you can use display text labels inside of Display I.O. for writing words on your displays inside of CircuitPython. I can control the position of this on screen using some of the buttons, and you'll also notice that I'm writing out the coordinates of the text object there as I move it around. So let's bring this up to zero, zero, how this works. I'm importing terminal IO for the font, importing display IO, and importing Adafruit display text label. I set the font to be terminal IO font, and then to create a text label, which is a special type of group in display IO that can have text in it. So I create this, I'm calling this one big text label, and then I use label.label, .label and I set some settings, which font I'm using, I'm setting the scale to three, so it's big, what text I'm writing, and the color here, which is green. Then I'm setting an explicit uh, position on screen. I append this text label to a higher level hierarchy group called text group that I created. That's so I can put two different things in here, but you'll notice I can move one of them while leaving the other one in place. And so this is one of the cool things about using text labels that they are groups that can be lots of groups inside of one larger group, which is the main display. I'm doing a similar setup here for displaying the little coordinates at the bottom. And then I'm using the buttons to just increase or decrease the X and Y values. Their origin point is the far left of the text and halfway down into the text. So that means you can't really start stuff on 0, 0. With a font this size, I start it at uh, 0 on X, but 10 down on Y. And so this is text labels inside of Display I.O. in CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython parser.